Hi there, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I have six examples with adverbs of degree. So let's take a look at them. They enjoyed the party immensely. John could really give me a hand with this. Our trip to Australia was what we expected altogether. I absolutely agree with you. We sometimes need to work awfully hard. If you eat that, it won't help you lose weight much. In this lesson, we're going to look at, as I said, adverbs of degree. So stay tuned. On past lessons, I talked about adverbs of frequency. If you want to watch that lesson, you may click here. This time, though, I want to talk about adverbs of degree. And when do we use them? We use them when you wish to give more information about the magnitude of an action of the verb or the degree to which an action is done. And how do we form them? Okay, we usually form them by adding ly to an adjective. For example, fair is the adjective, fairly is the adverb. Huge is the adjective, hugely is the adverb. Large is the adjective, largely is the adverb. Entire, entirely, etc., etc. However, there are exceptions. Sometimes an adjective stays the same to become an adverb. For example, hard, hard, and not hardly. Attention, hard, hard. Half, half. Almost, an adjective, almost an adverb. Very stays the same, very, very. Well, well, just, just, etc. There are many exceptions. Most importantly, how do we use adverbs of degree? The first rule, use them in the usual positions of agents. What are agents? Agents are optional elements or of secondary importance in a sentence. Let's look at my introductory example. They enjoyed the party immensely immensely is at the end of the sentence or the clause. We love Lady D dearly. So it's always at the end of the clause. So it's secondary in importance in the sentence. We do not use the, uh, the adverbs of degree at the beginning of the sentence. Okay? Never. The second uh, rule of how to use adverbs of degree is that some of them, like almost, largely, nearly, really, virtually, etc., are almost always, almost always, used in front of the main verb. Almost always why? I will tell you in a minute. The first example was, John could really give me a hand with this. So here, which could or give is the verb. Yes, give. That's the main verb. So it goes before uh, give. So John could really give me a hand with this. Could is a modal verb. So the second and this will explain why almost always. They are largely responsible for that. Okay, largely is the adverb of degree. And the verb, the main verb uh, here, can you see it? Yes, the verb to be. They are largely. We don't say they largely are. They are largely responsible for that. And so this, the, this is the exception. We put the verb to be um, before the adverb of degree. Okay, so like I said in my um, rule, they are almost always used in front of the main verb, but the verb to be. So I'm going to erase this and I'm going to look at other points 
on how to use the adverbs of the Greek. So we're back with the rest of the rules. Other adverbs of the Greek, like uh, outright, well, somehow, somewhat, hard, altogether, are almost always used after the main verb, just like my introductory example. Our trip to Australia was what we expected altogether. Here the main verb is expect. So, all together goes at the end of the sentence, in this case, and after the main verb. Another example. My explanation was somewhat complicated for some students. And here, like I said before, the verb to be is special, but, but the adverb of degree goes always after the main verb, and in this case, the verb to be. My explanation was somewhat complicated for some students. Now, let's take a look at the, the other rule. When you want to add emphasis to an action of a verb, use just, quite, absolutely, simply, and totally. So, let's take a look at the example. I absolutely agree with you. So we have absolutely and agree here is the, the main verb. So it, it is placed before the main verb in this case. Or she totally understood the point. Understand is the main verb and the adverb goes be before the main verb. In this case, she totally understood the point. We go on the fifth rule. Sometimes we use some adverbs of degree in front of other adverbs. They are called submodifiers. For example, like my introductory example, we sometimes need to work awfully hard. Hard is the adverb, and I added a submodifier, which is another adverb, awfully. Awfully hard. So I wanted to modify the um, adverb hard, right? So I add it awfully, awfully hard. Another example, her flatmates got on extremely well. So well is the uh, adverb and here extremely well is the sub modifier. So extremely well. How um, do they get on? Extremely well. The sixth rule, there are adverbs of degree like much, a bit, most, and worst, for example, that can be used in negative sentences. Like my example, if you eat that, it won't help you lose weight much. So we have, if you eat that, for example, a cake or ice cream, it won't, it will not help you lose weight much. Much here is the adverb of degree and this is a negative um, clause. It won't help you lose weight much and so that's why I added much. Another example. Sue doesn't like his attitude a bit. So the negative here is doesn't like. She doesn't like his attitude. He's a very, he's a very nasty boy, for example. So, a bit is the adverb of degree that I added in this, um, in this sentence. So, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, or if you want to uh, post your own question, you may do so under this video. Please don't forget to share the lesson and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and see you next week with a new lesson. Bye-bye.